Sir, if patients easy to have mentioned about the suspected allergic reaction to an antibiotic syrup in the childhood, he had some new stool and spasmodic pain underwent after ingestion of the drug. Uh, later, no more episodes uh, similar to that. So now, what antibiotic shall I give now, sir? You can give ceproxim 1.5 gram. Okay. Shudhira, can you give me ceproxim 1.5 gram and 100 gram? Sure, no. Okay. Antibiotic is okay. Yes, sir. Ceproxim is 1.4? Yes. Where's the hat trick one ten and BP eighty two by forty? I can do something. Please change to the blue day. And we can have it in hundred mics. Okay, high blood pressure is also high. Let me check the conditions. Conditions are fine. See what we want. The heart rate is still going up. One thirty to twenty minutes, and the BP is at one by thirty. Shiv brother, please call for help. Sure, ma'am. Sir, please stop the surgery. Patient's hemodynamic sir, unstable. Okay. What happened, Jenny? Uh, ma'am, this is a thirty-two year old male. Okay. Has come for multiple lipoma excision. Okay. Uh, I have given him uh, the regular drug for induction. Okay. Yeah, for the one mg, and then fifty microgram. Proposed for hundred mg, and after three and thirty mg. He has a suspected uh, allergic reaction to some antibiotics that in his childhood. Okay. So after consulting with the surgeon, we have given ceproxim one point five gram and hundred mg. Okay. Post that, patient has developed the hypotension and tachycardia. Okay. Uh, we hundred percent oxygen, and I have cut zero today. Uh, have you auscultated? No, no. Please auscultate. She would rather can get ready with the crash car and load 0.5 ml of 1 is to 1000 adrenaline in a 2 cc syringe. Sure. Now, my negative here bilateral contact. Okay, uh, get me a uh, one uh, salvator one neck. Okay. Oh. Pass. Give it to the students. Okay, she is not moving with the body. Uh, we seem to be dealing with an anaphylactic reaction. Uh, might be due to the antibiotic that we have given. Can you start with the Do one thing. Give uh, adrenaline 0.5 ml. That is 0.5 mg. One is 2000 and until you are to the IM. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Crash cut is ready. Ready, ma'am? Okay. Giving 0.5 mg of 1 is 2000 adrenaline. The hemodynamics seems not to be improving. Uh, it's been 5 minutes since last dose, right? So you give one more 0.5 mg of adrenaline, 1 is to 1000 in entry to the side. Okay, by the time I try to secure the airway. And after giving that, uh, try to load the uh, 10 cc of 1 is to 10,000 adrenaline. Okay? Uh, Shibu brother, are we ready with the intubation? Sure, uh, load 50 mg of ketamine and give it to the patient. Sure, ma'am. Ketamine is ready? Give it. 0.5 mg of 1.5 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 mg
iron and iron and then one dose of uh, ID and then mm. I will start obviously one black iron and then infusion of 0.5 ml per kg Sure, uh, uh, just do not connect in the same line okay. The other candle that you have secured, connect the iron and then fresh one Okay Patient seems to be in ventricular tachycardia and just take the pulse. I cannot feel any pulse. Patient is in cardiac arrest. Uh, call the code, please. I'm starting chest compression here. Gentlemen, please get the defibrillator and charge it to 200 joules. Yes, Brother, please load uh, 1 ml or 1 is 2000 adrenaline. Sure. Sir, so, uh, please alternate with me for the chest compressions. Yeah. Will you come, sir? Yes. I'll come here. Yes, yes. What happened, Dr. Tulika? Uh, I am a 32-year-old male who was at home in glycoma excision under GA uh -huh. and he went into cardiac arrest, post an anaphylactic shock for the due to antibiotic. Mm -hmm. uh, we have already given two doses of IEM adrenaline and one dose of IV adrenaline and adrenaline infusion has been started. Post right. five minutes of adrenaline infusion, he went into ventricular tachycardia and there was no pulse. We have started the chest compression, airway is secured. Mm -hmm. uh, can you please take over now from here? Sure, well managed till now. Okay, uh, Dr. Mahesh, Dr. Tulika, if you guys will alter me for the chest compression. Sure. Okay. Uh, Dr. Janani, you are already in charge of ventilator. You are in charge of that. Two brother, you please be in charge of drugs. Uh, sister, uh, could you please record the events? What time uh, was uh, the drug given and the uh, timing of the shock and how many shocks were delivered? Okay? Yeah. Yeah, Dr. Sure. Can you know? Dr. Jalani, are you ready with the defibrillator? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Get ready for shocking the patient. Expose the patient, please. All clear? All clear. Delivery shock. First shock delivered, please resume chest compressions. Okay, Shivu brother, please give another injection uh, ADR. Uh, one is 1000, I take plus ship with saline, 1 ml, okay? Mm -hmm. And keep injection amount of 300 mg ready, okay? Okay, okay. two minutes of chest compression are over. Dr. Dr. Jalani shows ventricular tachycardia. Yes. I'm getting ready for the second show. Okay. All clear? All clear? Delivering show. Okay. Are you Yes. Okay guys, we have sinus rhythm on the monitor, and it is photograph is also there. We have return of spontaneous circulation. Good job. We have saved the patient. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Meena Sadhu, Associate Consultant with Sarkar Anesthesia. This is my team right here. Today we did the final access simulation for you guys. Let me introduce my team to you. Dr. Mahesh, our final year PG. Dr. Janani, our final year PG. Dr. Tulika, our senior resident. Mr. Shiv Prasad, our senior anesthesia technician. Uh, so we are going to do a bit of debriefing here. I am going to ask each one of them what was the take home message for them through this uh, simulation drill. Uh, Dr. Mahesh, starting with you, uh, what was your take home message from this uh, simulation that we did? And actually in this situation, the first one is sacred the airway. Because uh, we respect that airway edema and obstruction, so we have to sacred it first. Right. first one. Mm -hmm. And the second one is uh, we have to take with the drugs. Uh, even if IV accident is not available, you have to get uh, adrenaline. Yes, adrenaline is the drug of choice for any anaphylactic reaction. And adrenaline is something that is available in usually all the OTs or crash cards. That is the drug of choice. So get acclimatized with the usage of adrenaline. That saves lives. Okay, Dr. Zanani, what about you? What is your take home message from this simulation? Then? Uh, we should call for help in any critical situation to like an access reaction and then we have to oxygenate the patient at any cost, 100% oxygen should go for the patient. Yes, that is very important. You may or may not have a definitive airway in place, but giving 100% oxygen to the patient is very important. Okay, Dr. Tudika, what uh, have you learned in this trend? I feel uh, in such a uh, emergency type situation, we should always follow a planned algorithm that yes. has been given and the fixed doses that have been given. For example, like the IM dose in this case is 0.5 mg, uh, anterior level high IM can be given. That is equal to 0.5 ml or 1 to 1000. Yeah. 
and uh, if you are starting an infusion, 0.5 ml per kg per hour or 1 is to 1 lakh infusion can be started for any patient. So if the fixed doses are known, we can uh, easily start and we can also give the orders easily for the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly that the same thing, if IV access is not there, go ahead with an IV access. So adrenaline is a very important drug in such situations and we have to support patient circulation yes. that we can do with uh, our vasopressors, adrenaline infusion and IV and what you will. So we might need to give uh, you know 3 to 5 liters of crystalloids uh, in these patients because this is a distributive shop. We have to support patient circulation. Uh, Shri Prasad, what did you learn? Send your waist drill. Important is of higher adrenaline and how to treat of the adrenaline. Yes, so basically adrenaline is again very important. We cannot emphasize it enough. We have to get accustomed to the usage of adrenaline in all the formats, whether you are giving it IM, whether you are giving it as an IV bolus or whether you are loading an infusion and running the infusion. A uh, very important point that Mr. Shri Prasad has said here is we have to remove the trigger. If we feel that a particular drug, whatever drug has been used on the patient, has led to this anaphylactic reaction, we have to remove that trigger point. So in the A, B, C, D, E, E is for exposure, we have to remove that exposure, that's again very important. For me, along with the fact that adrenaline is very important, we have to stick to the protocol. One thing that we have deliberately skipped in this uh, simulation is the usage of antihistaminics and uh, glucocorticoids. Uh, most commonly the one that we use is hydrocortisone that these are used for supportive treatment they don't have any direct role for anaphylactic reaction uh, once your patient is stabilized then you can give antihistaminics and hydrocortisone suppose you don't have adrenaline available there is dearth of adrenaline in the area wherever you are practicing and it's not immediately available then whatever is available you have to give to the patient if you have injection even readily available don't wait for adrenaline give it off if you have hydrocortisone, give it. But always keep in mind that adrenaline is the drug of choice for anaphylactic reactions. And remember the dosages, whether it is IM, whether it is IV bolus or whether it is infusion, always remember the dosages. Thank you.